Hi, it's Arjun from wizards.exe here, and in this video we are going to go over how to use a servo programmer. A servo programmer is this part right here, and it allows you to use, unlock the full capabilities of your Rev Smart Robot servo. The first thing we're going to need to do in order to use this is to have four AA batteries, which I have right here. I'm going to put them in now. Okay, now I've gotten the AA batteries into the servo programmer. First, I need to explain to you that there are two fundamental modes that a Rev Smart Robot servo can operate in. There is angular mode and continuous rotation mode. Angular mode means that the, the servo has angular limits, meaning that it can't rotate 360 degrees or a full rotation. It has limits, but you're able to set ex the exact position of the servo within those limits. Continuous rotation servo allows the servo to move 360 degrees in full rotations in every direction, but you don't, you don't know exactly where the servo is going to be at any given time unless you have additional sensors detecting that. The first thing that we're going to do with this is we're going to show you how to test it and plug the servo in. You are going to see that there are three letters there, S, plus, and minus. We're going to plug the white wire of the servo into the side that says S. Okay, now we've plugged the servo in. The next thing we're going to do is turn the servo programmer on. Now that we've turned the servo programmer on, we're going to go into automatic test mode, which puts a variety of different signals into the servo to be able to test all of its limits. We're going to do that by hitting the test button once. You can now see that the servo is moving across its whole range of motion. We're now going to hit test again to enter manual test mode. This is where you have control over where the servo is. Currently, the center LED with the program button is lit up. This means that the servo is at 0.5 as you would put it in the blocks programming language. You can hit left to put it at where it would be at 0 and right to put it at where it would be at 1. This, allow, this is much easier for doing more precise motions or just for fine-tuning your robot. Now we're going to show you how to put it into continuous rotation servo mode. Whereas in angular mode, it has limits and it can't go past them, continuous rotation mode has no limits. So we're going to turn off the servo programmer, turn it back on, and you see this switch up here? We're going to put that into the on the side with the C, which stands for continuous rotation. We're going to hit program now. And hitting program has now programmed the servo to be in continuous rotation mode. You can see now that I hit test, it looks a lot different when it is in automatic test mode. If I hit test again, it's going to go into If I hit test again, it's going into manual test mode. If I hit left, it rotates in one direction infinitely. If I hit right, it rotates in the other direction. And if I hit program, it will stop. Okay, now that's great. Okay, now that you've put the servo into continuous rotation mode, how do you put it back into servo mode? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it off and turn it back on again. Now we're gonna hit, we're gonna change the switch to whichever side we want. S is for angular mode, C is for continuous rotation mode. Then we hit program, and now it's in that mode of servo. One thing that's really cool about the Rev Smart Robot Servo is that you're able to set custom limits. So first we're going to click through the automatic test mode and the manual test mode, and hit the test button once more. Now you can set your custom limits. So say that I want to have 180 degrees of motion, which is essentially a straight line or half a circle. Now I've got the servo into one side. I'm going to hit the left button because this is the left limit. And you can see it blinked before becoming a solid LED, which means that it's always on. So right now, now I'm going to move it to the other direction and I'm going to hit the right button. Okay. So now both LEDs are solid. If I hit the program button and make sure that the switch is still on the S side, now it's set the custom limit. So if I hit test, 
This is automatic mode where it's still going in the 180 degrees. If I hit if I hit the manual mode test again, now I'm able to show the limits and they're much different. There's a few things you need to know about this, so I'm going to hit the test button once more to get it back into the mode where I'm able to change the limits. You can set one or both of the limits at one time. Another thing is that there are limits to where you can put your limits of the servo. So you, this is where it's at 0.5, the center of the servo's rotation. You can't put anything t within 20 degrees of the center. So if I try and set a limit right there, it's not going to stay on, which means that that limit has not gone through. So I can put it right there. Sorry, I can put it right there. And so this requires a little bit of trial and error in order to find what works and what doesn't. There's also outer limits, as the servo can only rotate 280 degrees max, which um, means that there are you can rotate 135 degrees on each side. So that's too far out, as it say it's not staying on. So I'm going to find the correct limit, which that works. Now if I hit program, I'm able to and hit test. Now it's in automatic mode, and you can see that the limits are much different. If I go to manual mode, you can see that the limits, again, have changed a lot. After you've done all of this, what happens if you want to reset all your limits? You can factory reset the servo using the servo programmer. What you're going to do is you're going to turn the servo off, turn it on, make sure that the switch is on the side with the S, and then hold the button that says program for five seconds. You're going to see that those lights just blink now, and now the servo is factory reset back to its original limits. So you can see that I'm just going to show you that the limits have changed, and it's back in servo mode. I'm turning off the servo programmer. I pr there are additional resources in the description which lead to the official Rev Robotics guides for the smart robot servo and the servo programmer. Take a look at those if you are a little bit confused. Comment below or email wizards.exe at gmail.com if you have any questions. Thank you.